These boys are all huddled up because we had some miserable cold weather. Hopefully we don't have to freeze as much as we have been. It's chilly now. It's not horrible, but obviously these guys are all snuggled up to keep warm. Look at Henry. Henry's laying his head on Seymour. <laughs> you guys getting along well, huh? You really love Seymour, Henry? Seymour's always been loving towards Henry. And Allie too, actually. Allie's been loving towards Henry. All right, boys. Well, we're going to be traveling in a little bit. It looks like our neighbors have come up. Our guests are getting ready to leave with us. We're going to have a little caravan with the full tiny house. We're ready to go. here camped with full tiny house it's pretty windy so I'll try to talk loud we're going for a little walk we came back from our walk and Seymour is in this bed over here Allie's over here hello Allie took the bed out of the crate because these guys haven't wanted to come out. Let's see where Henry is. There's Henry. Where were you, Henry? Henry, what are you up to? What up, Henry? We went for a walk and that was just windy and cold. Ooh. I didn't really film anything and we filmed our walk when we were here last time so I can link that if you want to see what this place is like. Well tiny house is back there it's hard to see them because they're they're back there right behind us and then tomorrow I think we're going to be leaving and headed somewhere else. white there you see our slide it's got snow on it not a lot but not enough where if we close that that's gonna all turn into water and come inside so somehow I got to get that all off see it's still snowing see the snow on the car there <laughs> It's a winter wonderland here in uh, Santa Rosa, New Mexico. It really snowed. Look at my truck. Look at our truck. Dana's car is all full of snow. I'm not used to snow like this. It's been a while. I mean, being from Buffalo, you think that we're really used to it, but not after you've been away from it for a while. It, it's different. Kind of get a little bit surprised by it, and it's just, I don't know. It's pretty much like I remember it, you know? I would prefer no snow. But hopefully this will stop soon, and we can be on our way. Sales turn on the tires. You got your helmet on? What? 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 You got your helmet on? Okay. There's Ethan and Banjo. Hi, Banjo. Hi, Ethan. <laughs> They're cold enough for you? <laughs> It's freezing! <laughs> I'm gonna go down this path here. 
You can still see some snow on the ground. It's windy and cloudy and feels like about 30. Here's our picnic table up here. And there's some pretty views up here. I like this park. It's pretty here. Although they charge $10 for boondocking, which is kind of a lot, I think. And they charge $5 for day use, which, wow. Maybe they should take some of that money to repair the I-40. But it's pretty here. That picnic table over there is where we sat at last time when we did our video here. Oh, I see some blue sky over there. I like that. Maybe it'll clear up. I think it's supposed to. We're traveling today and then we're supposed to have one more cold night and then I think, hopefully, if we're lucky, it's going to be perfect weather actually. It'll be 70s in the daytime, low 70s, and 40s at night, 35, 39 maybe. But you know what? When it's 70 and sunny during the day, it's so warm in the RV and the 39 is like so short that it's not that cold. We've just been in, in horribly cold temperatures. But you know what? We found out that we can run our heat off the battery and it doesn't really drain it that much. So that's really gonna help us if we have to boondock in cold weather. We can turn our heat on without having to go get the generator. He puts the generator away at night, he locks it up. And so then a lot of times in the morning, it's cold and he'll say, oh, you want me to go get the generator on? And I don't want to bother him. It's so cold. I don't want him to have to go outside and do all that. So I just say no and then we freeze. <laughs> and so now we can actually run the heat. That is a big relief because these temperatures, <laughs> it got down to about 29 last night, I think. So that's pretty cold without heat. I kind of wish we could stay here longer if it was warmer, but I'm ready to get to warmer temperatures and we're going to make some stops along the way. So, it's exciting. We're going to some places we haven't been to in quite a while. Look at all that snow. And there's probably going to be plenty more of it during the winter. I guess it's some, I'm guessing this isn't anything like Buffalo and they probably have some warm days, but it probably gets kind of cold here too. Let me see what the elevation is. What's the elevation at, in Santa Rosa, New Mexico? 4,616. Okay, so it's 4,000. So it probably is kind of cold here in the winter. Maybe not as bad as Flagstaff though. We're just about ready to leave. I think we're all just about ready. So we're gonna head out of here. I hope we get to be at another beautiful place like this soon. sunshine. God willing. God willing.